All right, guys, we are on a new fight. Uh, we are against an Uginak. So versus an Uginak, they are probably going to be close combat with Sparkling Silver and Pestilence Corruption Cloak. So versus that, if they're ranged, I'm going to get a little bit screwed, but Ugis largely are not ranged. So I am going to play Crocobur and Lady Jessica Belt. Melee resistance and minus ranged resistance. So if they are ranged, I'm pretty much screwed, but I'm willing to take that bet. I'm going to take Elemental Shield and hope that he has Crocobur as well. Um, if they do have Corruption's Cloak, it's likely that I'll just lose. It's probably Dreek. Yeah, it's Dreek. So I'm likely going to lose this fight. I've fought him multiple times and he's very strong he's one of the top uginaks in the server or sorry in the game and it's just extremely extremely hard to win versus him because um he has does he have crocobur yep crocobur fog no sparkling it's good but yeah he's gonna run um it's really hard to rush him because he'll be in his Kawit Glyph, which will trigger his Pestilence every single turn. So even if I go for AP Reduction with Quadramental Current, which is why I took it, um, I don't need to erode him. I do need to erode him, but I don't really have the opportunity to erode him because I need to AP Reduce him. Um, but I can't rush him when he's in that Glyph because it will trigger every single turn. So it just puts me in a very tough spot. And this is like almost, almost an unwinnable match. Unless I play it extremely well, but even still. So there's not much for me to be doing at this time. So even though I'll never use my weapon, I'm just doing that. Um, we'll see what he does. So... We've got two elemental traps, which will unbewitch one turn dur blah, 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 one turn duration because he's in earth state. So he's triggered it himself. Nice, he crit, that's awful. <laughs> that's probably gonna lock me too, isn't it? Actually, I have quite a bit of agility since I'm in Iliazel set. So he'll end either there or there. Um, yeah, okay, it's good that it doesn't lock me. So I'll get plus one AP. So I want to use Tribute on this. I'm going to use Tribute on this. And I'm going to do this. And now I'm going to put this state on him. We are going to reduce his AP, bring him to us and steal his chance. I actually do not remember if he has strength or chance. Oh, it looks like he's actually maybe agility. Um, so we did reduce AP. We got minus three, which is great. It's like the number one counter to Pestilence Cloak is shield and AP reduction. He is, what is he agility? Yep, he is agility, which is a strange choice for Pestilence Cloak, but it actually works. Um, so we are going to do this, this, this. Tribute um, here, cycle, reduce, and hit again. And I can't get any ranged ebony stacks because he locks me. He's got his agility. So even though I have some agility myself, I can't get the stacks that I want to stack ebonies on him. He does not have sparkling silver, but the poison damage that I'll soon be taking from Pestilence Cloak is very strong combined with vertebra although he can't play vertebra now that i'm thinking about it since he's agility agility is not optimal for pestilence cloak because it does not give agility it still works though which is strange all right so what ebony am i at? i'm at ebony five so i will do that this 
this and we will AP reduce. Or should I shield? No, I'll AP reduce. I don't know which is more worth, AP reduction or shielding. I'm choosing AP reduction because it's more annoying to him, but shielding counters Pestilence Cloak or Corruption's Cloak because they cannot lifesteal off of you when you have shield points, um, which makes it hard for them to trigger the maximum stacks for the cloak, which is three. So right there, he just healed. You can see plus 58, and then he heals from um, Crocobur. So yeah, there's minus 806, which is quite strong. He's in agility, which is good. So I will tribute off of this, and we will AP reduce from here. So now I got shield and AP reduce. And... I will boost my chance and then heal from Crocobur on them both. So he's got one Ebony, 800 HP. He's likely going to heal as much as possible this turn. Yep, he's starting there. So there's one stack of Corruption Cloak. Ferocity, I don't know what that does actually. Tailing, 480 shield, and now he's hitting. All right, so he got one stack from his self-heal spell. Can I kill him this turn? Definitely not. So we're actually gonna do a very similar turn to last turn. What are we, AP reduce him? And now I will boost my chance again. So this is going far better than it has for me in the past. There we go, Ebony killed him. So the reason that that went so much better for me than it has in the past is because he did not wear Sparkling Silver. He has worn Sparkling Silver in the past. I'm guessing he did not take it because in his experience versus Hupper, Erosion makes it so that it's a wasted slot. But what wearing that Dofus does is it prevents me from AP reducing him because I have to erode him in order for him to not get the 20% damage and 40% heal. So that was his mistake, but I understand that it is likely something that is a lose-lose for him either way he goes, which is part of the reason that Hopper is so overpowered right now, is because you, you're forced to make decisions based on things that they may or may not be doing to you, like eroding or AP reducing. So just the amount of choices that Hopper has makes it difficult to play against, which is why the nerfs are coming. So that went well, let's go on to the next fight. All right, guys, I am back. We are against a Sacrier this fight. Sacrier is quite hard to beat because of the amount of sustainability that they have combined with the fact that they can be ranged as well as close combat. So versus this Sacrier, I'm going to hope that they are not intelligence. If they're intelligence, I just straight up lose. Um, yeah, there's just no getting around it, unfortunately. I will take Quadramental Current. I will be playing the same set as last fight with the Melee Resist as well as Crocobur. If they're ranged, I, I honestly lose before the fight starts, but that's a, a choice that I have to make. If they're Intel, sadly, I I have to play Crocobur Melee Resistance. Oh, they're, okay, they're Agility. I thought they were Intelligence because they have 0% resistance and usually, hey, they're the same rank as me in wings. Usually low resistance in one area means that you are that element. It's just by chance, that's how sets work out. Okay, so their agility it looks like. Um, looks like no fancy dofuses, which is weird. Let's see, what am I gonna do right now? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make them engage because whoever engages first loses AP engaging and therefore hits less in the long term. This is a very strange matchup because they look to be not strong. By the way, since they're in Earth state, if the, oh, they're gonna light speed. 
Okay. I was gonna say if they were in Earth state, then when that popped, they would have gained 20%. I would have gained 20% more damage on them. Ooh. Very strange build. Boobatron sword. Strong though. Pretty good damage. It's bad positioning on the sword. I get to free tribute now. Uh, should be fine. So let's grab a ranged stack and let's do this. Just being annoying to them now they've got ebony and i do not have an ebony on me um transposition already out of the playing field that's great minus three ap for them they have to use light speed in order to use their sword again wow so i think i can kill them it's just a weird fight yeah i'm actually gonna go for the kill Ooh, they're a Saker though. What suffering are they at? Seven, I believe. I think I have to go for the kill. I don't. And this is going to be a misplay if I lose. Because I can... Whatever. It doesn't even matter if I cycle correctly. Okay, there we go. I doubted my damage when I shouldn't have. That was a weird fight. Um, crit damage, agility, Boobatron sword with awful resistance. Not much to say about there, that was just a set difference. Maybe that he's trying something new, I don't know. I mean, I'm getting a decent amount of Colosokin, so I don't think I'm in too low of elo, but we'll find out after the next fight. All right, guys, we just got our fifth Colo. This fight should unveil what rank we are. I'm against the Zelor, um, Zeller, if you will. I do not have very much experiment experience fighting Zellers. So I'm kind of unsure of what build to go. Agility or Intel might be strong, but I'm going to go Earth simply because um, it's one cycle away from water to put gravity state on things. I'm going to take Elemental Guardian because Ze Zellers hit so many times a turn that they, they wear down Elemental Shield instantly because you lose 5% resistance per hit with elemental shield so they have a protect for three turns very interesting i have not seen many people use that what build are they hard to tell if i had to guess i would say intel melee intel is my guess oh maybe they may be multi element so I need to put that synchro into gravity state, which is not so hard, which is good. So let's do tribute. And cycle, trap, guardian, gravity. So now they cannot switch with it. Um, I'm gonna do this so that I don't block my walk. <laughs> All right. What do they have? No sparkling, nothing legendary. So their resistance isn't crazy, which is good. I'm guessing release. Yeah, then they walk and spontaneous return, and then they're going to rewind and end wherever they started, and then they will teleport back here so the the key with zellers is you can't let them have their way what they want to do is swap sides of the map constantly without you ever even touching them you can't let them do that or you'll lose okay so what i'm going to do here is pull this in, get a melee stack on it, grab it, 
Ebony him. And... Hit him. Yep, that's it. I maybe should have hit the Synchro, but it doesn't matter too much. So now I'm actually going to run back here. So he can't swap. So I'm preventing his playstyle, which is very annoying to him. Um, I haven't done any damage because of the Protect. It's a very interesting choice. I guess it works for his playstyle because he's playing an in and out playstyle. So I can never full hit him until the fight gets into a later stage and he either messes up or I get close enough. But I'm pretty much just going to keep doing this, to be honest. Oh, okay, so I can't do it now. That was interesting. Oh, well, actually I can. But you won't like. Don't think I'm going to, though. Hmm, should I? Let's hit first. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to let him come in this turn. Yeah. Yep. Can I lock him? Probably not. Definitely not. That would give him a telefrag, which I don't want to do. So would that, actually. I'm going to do this. Not the best, not the worst placement of that. Um, if I went here to try and lock him, he telefrags there, and I don't think I lock him anyways. Maybe I do, since he ran around it. So he is melee. I'm guessing he's intelligence, but maybe multi. And did he just miss? Sorry if my webcam blocks a little bit. I think he honestly missed me. Sharpoon, okay, he is melee intel. I actually dodged that AP, which is quite ridiculous. I, um, yeah, I don't know. I have 24 res. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do now is this. And then grab this. He can still come. Um, but he has to use spontaneous twice. Which is nice. Should I even bring this over there? Yeah, I will. Because the reason I say that is because he can release and teleport back. But he's so low that it honestly doesn't even matter. So I'm just going for the extra damage. Maybe he's going to heal off of it. Nope. He could be using clock. I know he's not chance but because he's crit damage other elements still do hit enough to life steal so i think i kill him this turn um one two three four one two three four from here i have line of sight of him and i can i'm one away from cat's eye which is unfortunate but i actually just don't need it i'll say gg on the last fight so now we get to see what rank we are and hopefully it is not too low it's going to reset when I class change anyways, but I'm curious. So I got 4,584. Uh, that's okay. Four out of five fights. I could have won the first one, but it was a good warm up. That Stram played well as, as well. So not sad about that loss. Four out of five is good. 4,584. Um, I think top huppers are around 5k. So with ochre and sparkling and pestilence cloak maybe i could get there but i'm not willing to hang around on this class until i make enough commas to get all of those items um, it would be fun but i, I want to try new classes so i don't know what class i'll be changing to and i'll likely do at least one other video on the hover mage before i class change um, i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope the commentary was informative. I understand that I kind of get lost on some subjects and don't finish sentences while speaking, but it's just because fights are so... I get so into fights that I just forget what I'm saying a lot of the time. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you again next time. This has been Ability after a long break, signing off.